Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. He mihi atu ki a koutou, nau mai hari mai ki tēnei huinga mo tēnei pō. Nau mai hari mai, hari mai, hari mai. He karake tuatahi, te karake o te kuru o mahurangi. Ino i tātou. E te atoa, whakapainga i a mātou, tō mātou whānau, kuru hoki, whakakaha, I a mātou ki te mahi kaha, mahi tika, mahi pai hoki. Āmene. Kia ora koutou, Māori, and welcome to the Mahurangi College Senior Prize Giving for 2021. I'd like to start by thanking Aniwa Heke for that beautiful karanga and Mr. Michael Winiana for leading us in the school karakia. I'm looking forward to a wonderful evening with you celebrating our students and all their achievements in this really strange year. To begin the evening, I'm inviting Mr. Tony Giles, our school principal, to lead us with the school principal's address. Ina mana, ina reo, ina iwi, tēnā koutou katoa. Good evening and welcome to our prize giving for 2021. Board members, parents, grandparents, whānau, staff and students, I extend to each of you a very warm welcome as we come together this evening in somewhat unusual circumstances to celebrate the achievements of our talented young men and women. Behind every prize and every success tonight, other teachers, parents, whānau, friends and supporters who have been with you, our students, every step of the way through the highs and the lows. And tonight you can all stand tall, proud of your achievements and perhaps more importantly proud of who you are becoming as young men and women. Tonight is but a chapter in the book of your life. Your full story is yet to be written. And what a year it's been. Who would have thought that we'd be here in lockdown 14 weeks later, wearing masks at school and at the supermarket, scanning QR codes and exercising social distancing. And through it all our young people have demonstrated fortitude and adaptability and great humour. And I feel confident that the future is strong, such as their calibre and integrity. However, I worry a degree about the polarisation we're currently seeing in society, the intransigence and the inflexibility made worse, as always, by social media and self-interest. And now, perhaps more than ever, we need to exercise tolerance and patience, welcoming divergence of thought and wanting to listen to one another. And in this, we can learn much from our young people who naturally gravitate to openness and civility. Tonight, two of our board members are stepping down and it is appropriate for me to formally thank and acknowledge them for their contributions. Dr. Ehurangi Heki and Mr. Jason Neely have been passionate advocates for Mahurangi College and have given generously of their time and expertise to supporting the college. He ihu oni oni, he mada huada, he ihu oni oni, he whanau huada. Katu te mana o te ihi o ni o ni, ti hei mori oda. He mihi atu ki a kodua mo a kodua mahi ki te tutuko e tomato koda e te poadi mahi. My enormous thanks too to the teachers and staff of the college who, to a person, have brought creativity and agility to every curveball that this year has thrown. I know the students and the community are hugely grateful for your professionalism and grace. And so on behalf of us all, thank you. To the senior leadership team, again, my thanks for your support and wisdom. And to the support staff, sports coordinators, ground crew, teacher aides and itinerants, relievers and everyone else involved in making Mahurangi hum. Thank you so much for what you have given this year. And to Dean and the board, Thank you for your commitment, guidance and governance. Mahurangi College is in a great place. We're confident and we're humble 
And we're continually seeking to improve. Our culture continues to develop and grow, underpinned by good values and common sense. We know the value of hard work, and we also value our history. And despite the disruptions to the year, many outstanding achievements have still occurred on the stage and on the courts and on the fields. Our production of The Wizard of Oz, directed by Jonathan Dutton, received rave reviews. The entire show was first rate, from the sets to the costumes, the special effects, routines and the singing. Many of those in attendance said it was among the best school shows they had ever seen, and I have to agree. Visual Arts received a boost with the inaugural Art in August initiative, run in conjunction with the One Mahurangi Business Association. Students were able to display their work alongside established artists and then receive payment for any items they sold. Naturally, students were very excited to have their creativity recognised in this manner. Thank you to everyone involved. Sport, although impacted greatly, still managed to shine with some wonderful efforts, highlighted by our comprehensive win in the Hauraki Plains Exchange, the first for a number of years. Other notable achievements came in touch, underwater hockey, rugby netball and the intermediate girls hockey team who all achieved a number of outstanding results. Students excelled and participated in all manner of sports ranging from sport climbing through to archery and to eventing. To our Year 13 cohort, about to depart on the next exciting stage of your lives, we wish you all the very best. It has been a year like no other, but the way that you've taken it in your stride, adapted and persevered, has been hugely impressive. If you can handle this year, you can handle anything. To the head students and prefects, thank you for your leadership, your humility, and just for being who you are. It's been a pleasure seeing you grow and blossom. And to those staff departing, we thank you too for your dedication and service. Enjoy the rest of our virtual prize giving events and good luck to those sitting exams. Enjoy some quality time with your family and Fano over the Christmas break and we look forward to seeing you back safely here in 2022. No reira. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Thanks Mr Giles for your words. We now move on to the presentation of Sports and Cultural Awards, which is presented by Deputy Principal, Mr. John Blythe. Good evening. It's my pleasure to present the Sports and Cultural Awards for 2021. The first three awards are for sport, and these awards are for the highest performing athletes in the school. The Frost Plate for Sportswoman of the Year, Brianna Pyre. The Keith Edmonds Memorial Cup for Sportsman of the Year, Sebastian Smith. Although COVID did play havoc with our inter-house competition, we were able to have a winner after events such as haka and swimming did take place in the year. So, the inter-house winner for 2021 award goes to Blue House. Well done. Now for the cultural awards. The two mana Māori Trophy and in the Intimate Apparel Prize for Outstanding Māori Role Model Student, Aniwa Heki. The Cultural Person of the Year Trophy for Best Performing Artist, Aniwa Heki. The Outstanding Senior Pacifica Student Award, Naomi Tenabo. The following awards are for service towards the school community. The Maharingi College Kaitiaki Award, sponsored by Fisheye Film, second place equal, the Enviro Club, and Charlie and Barnaby Blampied for trapping work on Tamahanga. The Maharingi College Kaitiaki Award, sponsored by Fisheye Film's first place, the Trapping Group. The final award is the service to the library. This goes to Jessica McNaughton for her work as head library prefect.
is now my pleasure to present the Merit Awards. These awards are for students who gained first in subject in Level 1. First in Art Painting, Yash Topiwala. First in Business Studies, Claudia Sterling. First in Dance, Ambrosia Hardy. First Equal in Design Technology, Tyler Kepler. First in Design and Visual Communication, Matej Perrin. First in Drama, Alex Craig. First in Digital Technology, Kenzie Jackson. First in Education for Sustainability, Jade Aitken. First in Hospitality, Jessica Young. First in Innovation and Enterprise, Megan Hughes. First in Life Skills, Briar Rose Stevenson. First in Mathematics, Alia Allen. First in Music, Sarah Coop. First in Science, Oliver Adams. First in Te Rau Māori, Sammy Labar. First equal in Design Technology and first equal in History, Hannah Ferguson. First in Art Design and first in Media Studies, Reuben Smith. First in English and first in Physical Education, Charlotte O'Connor. First in Health and first in Textiles, Abby Charlton. First in Spanish and first in Geography, Libby Alstone. Congratulations to all these prize winners. You've worked fantastically in a very difficult year. I'd like to hand over to Christina Merrick, who will read the Merit Awards for Level 2 and 3, First in Subject. Kia ora koutou. It's my pleasure to be presenting the First in Subject Level 2 Merit Awards. To start with, the Lego Electrical Contractors Prize for First in Construction Academy, Nicholas Schollen. The Mahurangi Vision Prize for First in Dance, Jamie Glassford. The Buckton Cons Buckton Consultants Limited Prize for First in Design and Visual Communication, Ruby Oliver. The Isometric Solution Prize for First Equal in Digital Technology, Connor Passingham. The Isometric Solution Prize for First Equal in Digital Technology, John O'Boss. The Machinery House Prize for First in Design Technology, Jared Membry. The Webster Malcolm Law Prize for First in English, Alicia Gore. The Machinery House Prize for First in Furniture, Andre Farnell. The Buckton Consultants Limited Prize for First Equal in Geography, Eloise Balfour. The Life Pharmacy Walkworth Prize for First in Health, Elisa Ear. The Chocolate Brown Prize for First in Hospitality, Erin Whitley Pegg. The Somerset Falls Prize for First in Music, Callum Hall. The Roads for Roads Contractors Prize for First Equal in Physical Education. Lyle Sutton. The Adams Driving School Limited Prize for First in Te Reo Māori, Maya Collins Bowman. The BK Design Prize for First in Textiles Technology, Priel Patel. The Insight Security Prize for First in Tourism, Micah Gibson. The Mahurangi Matters Prize for First Equal in Art Photography, 
and the SBA Walkworth Chartered Accountants Prize for First in Media Studies, Zoe Knapp Spins Black. The Buckton Consultants Limited Prize for First Equal Geography and the Bavish Chapman Limited Prize for First in Business Studies, Lucy Butler. The Design and Landscape Limited Prize for First Equal in Art Photography and the SBA Walkworth Chartered Accountants Prize for Innovation and Enterprise, Noah Barclay. The Design and Landscape Limited Prize for First in Art Design and the Mahurangi Matters Prize for First in Art Painting, Ava Bravenbore. And then the Roads for Roads Contractors Prize for First Equal in Physical Education. The Walkworth Vets Prize for First in Biology. The Corfi Physiotherapy and Hand Clinic Prize for First in Chemistry. The SBA Walkworth Chartered Accountants Prize for First in Mathematics. And the Corfi Surgery Prize for First in Physics. All of these go to James Webb. Wow. And a huge congratulations to all first and subject in level two. An amazing effort. It is now my pleasure to read the first and subject merit awards for level three. To start with, the Photo Life Studios Prize for First in Art Photography, Archie Malloy. The Babbage Chapman Limited Prize for First in Business Studies, Zach Farmelo. The Steve Haycock Construction Limited Prize for First in Construction, Serge Sweeney. The Machinery House Prize for First in Design Technology, Nathan Strong. The Machinery House Prize for First in Furniture, Leah Jones. The Anco Prize for First in Gateway, Josh Lambert. The Life Pharmacy Walkworth Prize for First in Health, Izzy Ash. The Webster Malcolm Law Prize for First in History, Ulysses Solaris. The Insight Security Prize for First in Media Studies, Lexi Van Santen. The Somerset Falls Prize for First in Music, Michaelia Powell. The Dyson Smythe and Gladwell Prize for First in Outdoor Education, Patrick McKinnon. The Roads for Roads Prize for First in Physical Education, Zali Taylor. The Southern Paprika Prize for First in Technologies, Textiles Technology, Sakura Ludov. The Composite Joinery Prize for First in Te Reo Māori, Aniwa Heki. The Dyson Smythe Prize for First in Tourism, Renee Pierris. The Webster Malcolm Law Prize for First Equal in English and the Design and Landscape Limited Prize for First in Art Painting, Mona Schmidt. The Webster Malcolm Law Prize for First Equal in English and the Walkworth Countdown Prize for First in Drama, Guy Van Egmond. The Buckton Consultants Limited Prize for First in Mathematics with Calculus and the Corfi Physiotherapy and Ham Therapy Prize for First in Chemistry, Emma Veer. The Isometric Solution Prize for First in Digital Technology and the Walkworth Surveyors Prize for First in Physics, Ben McMurtry. The BK Design Prize and the Maltby Family Cup for First in Art Design 
and the Mahurangi Matters Prize for First in Design and Visual Communication, Ava Berry. The Walkworth Countdown Prize for First in Dance, as well as the Chocolate Brown Prize for First in Hospitality, Crystal Davies. The Walkworth Vets Prize for First in Biology, the Buckton Consultants Limited Prize for First in Geography, and the Walkworth Surveyors Prize for Mathematics with Statistics, Saskia Wigman. An amazing effort from all of our Year 13 and Level 3 students. Congratulations. My thanks to Christina and John for their presentation of the Merit Awards for Levels 1, 2 and 3. When we have a prize giving in person, we have many musical items um, which are always a highlight of the evening. So, we have not completely abandoned live performance, live, our musical, musical performance for this evening is from Aniwa and Kaiaheke and they are singing Whakareya Mai. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you girls so much. I really enjoyed it. 
Our next part of the evening is a presentation of the Academic Excellence Awards for Level 1-2 and presentation of the Special Awards and these are presented by Mr Keith Tennant. Right, we're going to move on to the Special Awards next. Um, just give you a bit of background to what these awards are all about. These awards showcase things such as um, attributes and dedication, good attitudes, contribution to your community, consideration for, for others, leadership, and so on and so on. And generally speaking, if I have to round or sum these up, they lead towards you being a good citizen later on down in life. So we'll move on to the Year 11 Awards. The Harvey's and Price Trophy is awarded to a Year 11 student who demonstrates perseverance in the face of adversity. And this year, it goes to Dante Davis. The Year 12 Awards, the Tafranui Regional Park Conservation Award and the Brackenridge Builders Prize is awarded for contribution to conservation. And this year, it goes to Grady Collis. The Lego Electrical Prize for a student with dyslexia who displays perseverance and achievement in everything he tackles is awarded to Finn Stevenson. The Insight Legal English Award goes to a level two student who shows the most originality and flair in all aspects of English. They're engaged with the language and literature outside of their usual English classwork and are passionate about the language in all its forms. And this year, it is awarded to Zoe Knapspence Black. Moving on to the Year 13 Awards. The Year 13 Award and the Lions Club of Walkworth Prize for Leadership. And this is donated by the Year 13 students from uh, 2010. And this year, it goes to Guy Van Egmont. I also have to add that Guy has done an exceptional job as the Deputy Head Boy this year and I'm very proud of him getting this award as well. The Lions Club of Kofi Coast Shield and prize for the Student Learning Centre pupil who is diligent and also shows a caring and positive attitude goes to Ethan Whittam. The Insight Legal Award goes to a Level 3 student who shows the most originality and flair in all aspects of English. They're engaged with the language and literature outside of their usual English classwork and are passionate about language in all its shapes and forms. And this year, it goes to Marazan Smith. The Chocolate Brown Prize for Creativity and Professionalism in Hospitality and uh, being creative in about all things hospitality goes to Maddie Miles. The Walkworth Lions Cup and Prize for Excellence in Public Speaking, which is a great fear for many people, goes to Mackenzie O'Sullivan. Well done, Mackenzie. The Friends of Mahu Prize for Deputy Head Girl. And once again, I'd just like to add what a fantastic job Nami has done this year. Obviously goes to Nami Tainabu. The Friend of Mahu Prize for Deputy Head Boy, Guy Van Egmont. The Friends of Mahu Prize for Head Girl, Aniwa Heke, who has done an outstanding job in leading this team of the head students. And the Friends of Mahu Prize for Head Boy goes to Nathan Strong, who's been, been enthusiastic at all times about trying to lead the prefect body in some initiatives, especially during the lockdown. The ex pupils Rose Bowl and the Corfi Physiotherapy and Hand Prize for the best all-rounder, this is in academics, sport and culture, goes to Nathan Strong. The Granville Shield and the ITM Walkworth Prize for Civic Responsibilities. And this young man shows an untiring dedication to doing what he has to do with all things IT for the school and so on and so on, is Ben McMurtry. Well done, Ben. I know you've been there every time I've had to do a quick call on you, and thank you for your help and dedication. The Redstone Creek Management Upstanding Young Woman Prize for the senior girl who shows the most initiative, self-reliance, 
and consideration for, that, for others goes to Shannon Harris. The Rodney Lodge of Freemason Upstanding Young Man Prize for the Senior Boy who shows the most initiative, self-reliance and consideration for others goes to Guy Van Egmont. I just have to say those last two awards in my eyes are very um, prestigious awards to, to achieve because it's a part of being a really good citizen. Finally, I'd also like to say good luck for the exams and have a great holiday and hopefully we'll see you out there in summertime. Thank you. Good night. Thanks very much, Keith. That was great. We now have the pleasure of hearing final words for the year from our head boy, Nathan Strong, and our head girl, Anua Heke. Everyone knows the world has changed. What they don't realise is that we are the new frontier. We are doing things that have never been done before. That's pretty exciting. We've been forced to be independent and work from home. Some people in our communities choose to see what has been taken away. Well, I choose to see what's been given. New ways of learning, innovative health and well-being practices, and most of all, an appreciation for our environment. Toi tu te whenua. The land is forever. Mr. Winiana, he taonga koe, he pautoko manua. You have exposed me to new thinking, given me opportunities, challenged me, and helped me grow. I owe you. Mrs. Wynn, your teaching style is like nothing I've seen before, and I love it. It has prepared us well for university and our pathway onwards. We appreciate you. Mrs. Johnston and Ms. Yao, you have uncovered things about our future that we didn't know, and your support will always be unmet. Year 13 thanks you. To all the administrators and teachers around this school, you are amazing, and we couldn't do it without you. The school has taught us great leadership skills and our willingness to engage with the world, such as it is in a post-COVID state. But we feel prepared. We feel as though we have been armed with the skills to see new horizons. Because from a disruptive society becomes disruptive thinkers, a new way of engaging with each other, with our environment and with our planet. We are now educated young leaders and we can and will rise above this. Thank you, Mahurangi College. I'm looking forward to the future. We all are. Koe mata, koa mate feke, mate ururua. Seize the day. I'm sure way back in 2009, we can all remember our first day of school. We never wanted to go back there again. Yet 3,640 school days later, it's almost sad to be leaving. We are moving on from the, from the institution that has been the one constant over the years. We now have to drop the pilot ropes as we are forced to set sail into a sea of independence. The docks of Mahurangi College may never see some of our sails again. But as a collective, I think we can all agree by the evidence presented today, we are a school of go-getters. A snowball doesn't grow by sitting still, so neither did we. Earlier this year, Great Barrier Island felt the feet of a thrill-seeking 60th generation of Mahurangi Year 13s. The completely diverse teams left the harbour before first light and after five days of quite literally highs and lows, we returned binded closer than ever. From Alicia's photography skills to the lads and their bombs to Mr McLagan's lack of fishing talent, it was the small moments that really made the torturous days on paper feel like home away from home. This was only a taste of what Year 13 had installed for us. House events like swimming saw horrible prefects and Sam's awesome manus. Haka witnessed the power of strength in numbers and talent from unlikely sources. Futsal and others made, all, made us all target Blue House. And but even though the house colours weren't able to be brought out again, the suits and gowns were soon shown in the spotlight. The Harbourside Hilton Hotel was home to the secret garden-themed ball of 2021, 
staging the best self-made prefect dance of all time. Emphasis on self-made, but nonetheless a night to remember in many ways. We succeeded nonetheless throughout the year, especially being the challenging one it was. Through the now broken 11 year drought of the Hauraki Exchange and nine years without the Wyatt Cup brought to a halt, Mahu yet again pulled through, showcasing the talent growing in these soils. And to this I give my thanks. To Uncle Lenny, MC Lags and old Yatesy boy and all the other unfortunates that have had to deal with us, I do not know how you did it. You have gifted us with the tools and the knowledge to write our own story wherever that may take us. To all the prefects and leaders, your dedication and hard work has not gone unnoticed. You have been the mentors and guides to our school's humble and welcoming atmosphere that Mr Giles does speak so fondly of. Yet I'd like to acknowledge, most importantly, the stories. Every scribble on the wall, pencil on the roof and gum under the desk lay the tracks and memories that are buried at this school forever. If these walls could speak, no one would be safe. I am forever grateful to have been brought up in a rural based town where I wake up only to the sound of crashing waves, yet I have all the opportunities presented by the Auckland region. Now we look forward with eyes that are blinded, but hopeful, to the challenges, triumphs and failures that lie ahead of us. This beautiful part of the world will forever be in your corner of the ring. So on behalf of the Year 13 cohort, for the very last time, thank you. Well done to both Aniwa and Nathan for those really interesting words and well delivered in an online context. We now look at the university scholarships that have been awarded to our students. Students can be offered scholarships from many universities and we read those all out. We're really proud of the work that our students do to see them supported by the universities in this way and sharing it with the upcoming year 11 and 12 students so that you can all see what is possible with hard work and good endeavour and it can only encourage you hugely to follow the footsteps of these students and be supported as you step into your first year of tertiary study. So to begin, the Prime Minister's Vocational Pathway Award to the value of $2,000 and it celebrates the achievement of secondary students who are enrolled in vocational programs and to raise the status of vocational education. Vocational pathways include construction and infrastructure, creative industries, manufacturing and technology, primary industries, service industries, social and community services. This year, it has been awarded to a student from the creative industries who plans to continue her studies at Te Aoha, the New Zealand Institute of Creativity, Crystal Davies. The University of Canterbury Go Waitaha Canterbury Scholarships worth $5,000. This is awarded to a student with proven academic ability, Caspian Hardy. The Victoria University of Wellington Tangiwai Scholarships to the value of $5,000 and it's awarded to students primary on the basis of academic excellence. But it also recognises leadership and commitment to the community. Ava Berry, Chloe Billington and Saskia Woodman. The Auckland University of Technology Find Your Greatness Scholarships worth $14,000. The scholarship is awarded to a student who has high academic achievement and they make a significant contribution to the school and or the community. It's in recognition of their potential leadership. These go to Poppy Billington and Naomi Tenable. The University of Otago New Frontiers Entrance Scholarships 
recognises academic excellence. To the value of 3,500, Patrick McKinnon. To the value of $3,500, Eva Sterling. To the value of $5,000, Jessica McNaughton and Alice Williams. To the value of $15,000, Ava Berry. The University of Otago Leaders of Tomorrow Scholarships to the value of $6,000 for students with academic ability and leadership potential. They need to have been involved in sport or cultural pursuits and have made a contribution to the community. These go to Louise Dow and Saskia Wigman. The University of Otago Māori Entrance Scholarship, the value of $17,000, and it's established to celebrate academic excellence, cultural diversity. This goes to Aniwa Heke. The University of Otago 150th Entrance Scholarships, and it's in recognition of academic ability and the potential to succeed. To the value of $13,000, Zali Taylor. To the value of $15,000, Michaela Powell. The University of Waikato Ko Te Tangata School Lever Scholarship, and to the value of $5,000, is named for the people and it recognises strong commitment and connection to schools and communities and it's awarded to students who demonstrate academic readiness and community spirit. This goes to Patrick McKinnon. The University of Auckland Top Achiever Scholarship to the value of $20,000 and it's awarded to exceptional students who have excellent academic achievement and have demonstrated leadership potential. This goes to Ava Berry. The University of Waikato Pacific Excellence Scholarship to the value of $10,000. It's awarded on the basis of excellent academic achievement and strong connection to the Pacific community. This goes to Naomi Tanabal. The University of Waikato Te Paiwai or Te Rangi Scholarship for Outstanding Academic Achievement to the value of $25,000. It's awarded to students who have demonstrated academic excellence. They display leadership potential and community involvement. And this is awarded to Saskia Wigman. Congratulations to all those students. Excellent work and you've been rewarded for your endeavours. Well done. We are now at the part of the evening where we will find out who has won the most prestigious academic awards. And I'd like to hand this part of the evening over to the principal, Mr Tony Giles. We come now to our two most prestigious academic prizes, the awards for Ducks and Proxima Akesit. The Proxima Akesit Prize is awarded to our second best overall academic student, the runner-up to the Ducks. And so for 2021, the Withers & Co Chartered Accountant Scholarship to the value of $1,500 and the Allen and & Audrey Shaw Trophy for Proxima Akesit goes to Ava Berry. Congratulations, Ava, a wonderful effort and testimony to your excellent work over the years. Our final and most prestigious prize is the award for Ducks. This is awarded to our best overall academic student. 
And so for 2021, the Baileys Real Estate Walkworth Scholarship to the value of $2,000 and the Patricia and Ellen Shed Away Family Cup for Ducks goes to Saskia Wigman. Congratulations, Saskia. You can be rightfully proud of this wonderful achievement. Over, this, over the years, Saskia has amassed 254 excellence credits, which is simply outstanding. Well done and congratulations. Thank you for attending our special virtual prize giving. To our Year 13 cohort and those moving on, we wish you all the very best for your future study, career and creative endeavours. We know that you're going to thrive and we look forward to hearing about your exploits and achievements. Good luck for your exams, enjoy the holidays, travel safely if we ever get let out of Auckland and take care. We'll see you again next year. Kia kaha. Thank you.